Welcome to the Fastest Motorcycle Show brought to you by Power Nation. If you're looking to enhance the feel, control, and safety of your motorcycle, then you'll want to start with the front brakes. John Boucher is going to show you four easy performance upgrades for your front brakes. Then we'll conduct a 40 mile an hour road test to see how our investment of time, money, and effort pays off. Now for a full brake upgrade, you would replace your stock calibers, but that would double, in some cases triple, the cost of what we're doing today. For an easy performance upgrade on a budget, we're going to replace the following stock parts. Brake lever, brake lines, rotors, and brake pads. But before we do, we're going to test our stock equipment at 40 miles an hour and measure the distance it takes to come to a complete stop. Brian do three runs and we took the average distance which was 62.3 feet. Now we're going to install our four upgrades and average three more runs and see what type of improvements were made. We're going to start by removing our stock rotors and installing the full floating high carbon stainless steel rotors from Brembo. These are the same ones they use in World Superbike and MotoGP. First we remove our two caliper bolts and calipers on each side. Then we loosen the pinch bolts on the throttle side of the motorcycle. For the ZX-10, we'll use a Motion Pro axle tool to remove the front axle and a 6mm hex to remove the bolts. While the front wheel is off, we need to go back to our calipers and install our new Frodo brake pads. Remove the two screws at the top of your calipers, the old pads come out and your new Frodo pads slide right in. Reinstall the top bolts and we can go back to working on our front wheel. Install the Brembo rotors with a little Loctite, 20 pounds of torque, and tighten the bolts down in a star pattern. From there, we just work backwards. Axle in with 94 pounds of torque, tighten pinch bolts, and then reinstall our calipers. Now we're ready to move on to brake lines and a new brake lever. We're replacing the stock brake lever with a Brembo RCS-19 radial master cylinder. In addition to better feel, it gives you the option to choose between two pivot configurations, either 19 by 18 or 19 by 20. Turning the adjuster screw to 20 will make the braking system more progressive and allow you more of a controlled feel while pivot distance of 18 provides a more race-like or aggressive feel. You'll need a mounting bracket for this Brembo RCS-19 that is specific to your motorcycle, so don't forget to pick one up. You don't want to have something puncture your brake lines and you don't want them to bulge under pressure. These are two good reasons to replace them with steel braided brake lines from CoreMoto. The CoreMoto brake lines are custom made to each order. You can see that we went with the Cowie Green for this ZX-10. Be sure to use the copper crusher washers that come with this kit on each side then the titanium bolt and tighten with the torque wrench to 16 pounds of pressure. All right, now we've installed our four upgrades. All we have to do is bleed the brakes, let Brian get a feel for the new setup, and we're ready for part two of our road test. Here's a quick recap of this front brake performance upgrade package along with the cost of each item. We installed a Brembo RCS-19 master cylinder for $365. Core Moto steel braided brake lines at $115. Brembo rotors were $660 for the set, and the Frodo brake pads were $62. In total, we spent about $1,200 in two hours. So now that we've invested the money and time, let's see what type of gains we get on a road test. After three runs where Brian stopped at 58, 38, and 36, we have a 44-foot average. Compared to our stock run of 62.3 feet, this front brake performance upgrade has increased our braking power by 30% and it's given us more feel on the front end, which will allow us to correct little mistakes before they become big ones. Remember, you want to get the most out of your motorcycle, so upgrade your front brakes today and enjoy faster, safer riding. We have more two-wheeled action coming your way, so be sure to subscribe to Power Nation on YouTube and tune in this weekend for more Power Nation on TV. Saturday at 8 a.m. on CBS Sports, followed by Sunday at 9 on Spike for all the Power Nation you can handle. I'm Danielle Teal, and on behalf of my co-host, John Boucher, we remind you to keep the rubber side down and the throttle wide open. We'll see you next time on the Fastest Motorcycle Show.